Welcome to the Healing Code for Cancer. Today we're tackling a question that science is working hard to answer. Can stress increase your risk of cancer or affect your recovery? Stress is something we all experience, but chronic stress does more than just affect your mood. It changes your body at a cellular level. Let's explore the science backed by real data to understand the link between stress and cancer. Life is full of ups and downs. We all experience stress in our daily lives, whether it's from work, relationships or unexpected challenges. While a little stress can be motivating, chronic stress can take a toll on our physical and emotional well-being. Increasingly, research is uncovering a complex link between chronic stress and cancer. This connection is not about blame, but about understanding how stress affects our bodies and what we can do to prioritize our health. Stress is not a direct cause of cancer. However, chronic stress can weaken our body's defenses, making us more vulnerable to various diseases, including cancer. This essay will delve into the science behind stress and cancer, exploring how chronic stress impacts our immune system, inflammation levels, and even our DNA. We'll examine how stress can influence cancer treatment and recovery. Most importantly, we will discuss evidence-based stress management techniques that can empower you to take control of your health and well-being. Understanding the relationship between stress and cancer can be a powerful tool. It allows us to make informed decisions and adopt healthier coping mechanisms. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it can also be a source of hope and healing. Stress is a natural physiological and psychological response to challenging situations. Imagine your body has an internal alarm system. When you encounter a perceived threat, whether it's a looming deadline or a sudden danger, your brain sounds the alarm. This triggers a cascade of hormonal changes, preparing your body to either fight the threat or flee from it, the classic fight or flight response. At the heart of this response is the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal, HPA, axis. This complex system involves communication between your brain, pituitary gland and adrenal glands resulting in the release of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Cortisol provides a surge of energy and increases alertness, while adrenaline accelerates your heart rate and breathing, preparing you for action. In the short term, these stress responses are essential for survival. They help us cope with immediate threats and enhance our performance under pressure. However, problems arise when this alarm system becomes chronically activated, leaving our bodies in a constant state of high alert. Imagine the wear and tear on your body if your car alarm kept blaring for days, weeks, or even months on end. This is akin to what happens during chronic stress, where the continuous flood of stress hormones can dysregulate various bodily functions, including the intricate workings of our immune system. Chronic stress occurs when our body's stress response system remains activated over prolonged periods. Instead of a brief burst of energy and alertness, we experience a constant state of heightened arousal. The hormones that are meant to be helpful in short bursts become detrimental when they circulate in our system for too long. Think of it like this. Imagine your body is a rubber band. When you experience stress, it's like stretching the rubber band. Short-term stress is like stretching it and letting it snap back. It can handle it. But chronic stress is like holding the rubber band stretched taut for days, weeks or even years. Eventually, the rubber band loses its elasticity and becomes weakened, making it more susceptible to snapping. Chronic stress can manifest in various ways. Physical headaches, muscle tension, fatigue, digestive issues, sleep disturbances, emotional irritability, anxiety, depression, overwhelm, mood swings, behavioral changes in appetite, substance abuse, social withdrawal, difficulty concentrating. These symptoms are not just in our heads, they are real physiological responses to the prolonged presence of stress hormones. Over time, chronic stress can weaken our immune system, increase inflammation throughout the body, and even affect the integrity of our DNA, potentially increasing the risk of developing various health problems, including cancer. Our immune system is a complex network of cells and proteins that defend our bodies against harmful invaders like bacteria, viruses, and even cancerous cells. It's a delicate system that relies on a balance of pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory responses to function effectively. Chronic stress disrupts this delicate balance. Remember cortisol, the stress hormone we discussed earlier? 
While it plays a vital role in our initial stress response, chronically elevated cortisol levels can suppress the activity of immune cells. These cells, such as natural killer cells and T cells, are responsible for identifying and destroying cancerous cells. When they are suppressed, our body's ability to fight off cancer weakens. Imagine your immune system as an army defending your body. Chronic stress is like having a general who constantly orders retreats. Over time, the army becomes demoralized and less effective at fighting off invaders. Research has shown a clear link between chronic stress and decreased immune function. A 2020 study published in Nature Reviews Cancer highlighted that stress-induced immune suppression could contribute to cancer development and progression. Another study in Cancer Research 2016 found that chronic stress was associated with faster tumor growth and reduced response to chemotherapy in animal models. Section 5 Chronic Inflammation Fueling the Fire Within Inflammation is a natural part of our body's healing process. When we experience an injury or infection, our immune system triggers an inflammatory response to fight off invaders and repair damaged tissues. However, chronic stress can lead to low-grade, persistent inflammation throughout the body, which can be harmful in the long run. Imagine a small fire that helps to cook your food. That's acute inflammation, controlled and beneficial. Now imagine a fire that keeps burning out of control, damaging the entire house. That's chronic inflammation, persistent and destructive. Chronic stress contributes to this low-grade inflammation by keeping the body in a constant state of alert. The immune system is on high alert, releasing inflammatory chemicals even when there's no real threat to fight. Over time, this chronic inflammation can damage DNA, create an environment where cancer cells thrive and even interfere with the effectiveness of cancer treatments. Studies have shown a strong correlation between chronic stress, inflammation and cancer risk. A 2019 study published in Clinical Cancer Research found that patients with higher levels of stress before surgery for ovarian cancer had increased levels of inflammatory markers and a higher risk of cancer recurrence. This connection between stress, inflammation and cancer highlights the importance of managing stress to reduce chronic inflammation and support overall health. Section 6, Stress, DNA and Cancer, a deeper look. Our DNA, the blueprint of life, is constantly under attack from external factors like UV radiation and internal factors like oxidative stress. Fortunately, our bodies have sophisticated repair mechanisms to fix damaged DNA and prevent mutations that can lead to cancer. However, chronic stress can interfere with these repair mechanisms, increasing the risk of DNA damage. Imagine DNA as a delicate tapestry. Stress can be like a loose thread that, if left unattended, can unravel the entire tapestry. Chronic stress can shorten telomeres, the protective caps at the ends of our chromosomes that are crucial for DNA stability. Shorter telomeres are associated with an increased risk of age-related diseases, including cancer. Additionally, stress can disrupt the balance of certain enzymes involved in DNA repair, making it harder for the body to correct errors in our genetic code. A growing body of research suggests that chronic stress can create an environment within our cells that makes DNA more susceptible to damage and less efficient at repairing itself. This can lead to mutations that increase the risk of cancer development. Section 7 Stress and Cancer Treatment – Navigating the Journey A cancer diagnosis is a life-altering event that brings with it a wave of emotions including fear, anxiety and uncertainty. These emotional stresses, combined with the physical side effects of cancer treatment, can create a significant burden on patients. Managing stress during this time is crucial, as chronic stress can negatively impact treatment outcomes and overall well-being. Imagine navigating a challenging maze. Stress can feel like blinders that restrict your vision and make it harder to find your way through. Studies have shown that high levels of stress can interfere with the effectiveness of cancer treatments like chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Stress can also worsen treatment-related side effects such as fatigue, nausea and pain, leading to decreased quality of life. On the other hand, research suggests that effectively managing stress through techniques like mindfulness, meditation and yoga can improve coping mechanisms, reduce side effects and enhance the overall well-being of cancer patients. Section 8, Evidence-Based Stress Management, Taking Back Control. While we can't always eliminate stress, we can manage it effectively. 
Evidence-based techniques help regain control and improve well-being. Think of stress management as a toolbox. Different tools work for different people. Mindfulness meditation, gentle yoga, and body awareness help manage stress. Yoga promotes relaxation and reduces stress hormones. Connecting with others provides emotional support. Regular physical activity reduces stress and boosts mood. Quality sleep is crucial for stress management. Section 9. Debunking myths separating fact from fiction. There are many misconceptions surrounding stress and cancer. Let's debunk some common myths. While chronic stress can create an environment in the body that makes it more susceptible to cancer, it is not a direct cause of cancer. Many factors contribute to cancer development, including genetics, lifestyle choices, and environmental exposures. Both positive and negative stress can trigger the body's stress response. While some stress can be motivating, it's essential to manage stress levels and engage in relaxation techniques to prevent chronic stress. Blaming yourself for a cancer diagnosis is neither accurate nor helpful. Cancer is a complex disease with multiple contributing factors. Focus on what you can control, such as adopting healthy lifestyle habits and seeking support when needed. Many evidence-based stress management techniques can significantly improve well-being during and after cancer treatment. Explore different options and find what works best for you. Check, check one, check, check. Section 10, Conclusion Empowering Yourself in the Face of Cancer. The relationship between stress and cancer is complex and multifaceted. While chronic stress can create an environment in the body that makes it more vulnerable to cancer, it's essential to remember that stress is not a direct cause of cancer and it's not your fault if you develop this disease. The good news is that we have the power to manage stress and take proactive steps to support our overall health. By incorporating evidence-based stress management techniques into our lives, we can reduce the negative impact of stress on our bodies, enhance our well-being, and navigate the challenges of cancer with greater resilience. Remember, you are not alone on this journey. Reach out to loved ones, healthcare professionals, and support groups for guidance and encouragement. Embrace the tools and techniques that resonate with you. And remember that even small steps towards stress management can make a significant difference in your overall health and well-being. At the Healing Code Code for Cancer, we're here to guide you every step of the way. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share and comment below. What's your go-to strategy for managing stress? Let's build a healing community together.